What we talk about, boys? Is is we back? Is Braun trip to the finals? Is it gonna be simple or is it gonna be difficult? I can't even say Braun is making a trip to the finals for sure. True that. Bro. Can't this, say it. This is still the. Yo, it's the Eastern Conference, bro. The least competition, my man. Like, he not, like, it's, it's nobody in front of them, bro. Like, I can't see, I can't give it to Philly. I, I can't. Like, that young team, they too young, bro. That, that They not convincing I, me enough. I agree. When I, when I look at the Eastern Conference, I think, you know, LeBron, of course, he's been dominating the Eastern Conference for, like, 15 years now, straight. Uh, but... We got Toronto, who ended up being the number one seed. And in my opinion, they always end up choking. And then we got the young boys, Philly, Miami, um, Milwaukee, and Washington. But is is it enough? Is there enough experience there for them to dethrone LeBron? I, I don't see it. I'm surprised y'all said that y'all don't trust Philly, because to me, they're the biggest threat. To stopping LeBron from making a trip to the finals. I know they're young and maybe playoff experience is going to come into play and they going to fall. But Toronto, like you said, they choke. Boston is just, they not going to be able to without Kyrie. Yeah, I forgot even to mention them because they were actually our pick for, for, the, for the Easter Conference Finals with the, the Cavs. But with injuries, it don't look like they're going to make it there. And when it comes to Philly, to me... It comes down to Joel and B if he can stay healthy throughout the playoff run. But when when is he coming back? You know, I don't I, I haven't seen no report about if he's for sure coming back first round, second round, but you also gotta take into account that they gotta kinda fit him back into the system. I mean, Ben do his thing though. I give it to that. Ben, Ben is like LeBron's son. That's that's his son for sure. But like I don't know, bro, like like at the same time, they rookies. Like, even though they both rookies, you know what I'm saying? Rookies to the playoffs. Like, this is their first time. This is the first time that whole organization been in the playoffs in, like, a minute, bro. Like, their coach and everything. Like, yeah. so, you know what I mean? I think we jump in the gun with expectations. Like, I know they're young and they talented. They look they look nice and shiny, but, bro, y'all know what Bron is about to do. Nah, it's, bro. It's, it's, it's kind of like, it's, called, it's already written, bro. Don't get me wrong, like, I was one of the first people before the season saying how Philly, like, they are what everyone is thinking is going to be a great team. People were putting them up there, like, four C. I was like, eh, I don't see it. It's their first year. They're going to be good, but I give them, like, a six or seven C. I, I said some shit like that, but they just they just grabbed the three C. They they on like a 16 game streak that was without Embiid. I don't think Embiid is, is gonna oh, come back Lord. at all. Actually, I'm not too sure. Nah, I think he's coming back. Okay, well then, then yeah, they a threat. <laughs> what you mean? Nah, man, I just say like, you no, know, I think y'all looking at the stretch of the regular season. Like the regular season was so much, so much happening in you know Cleveland. I think that you know the regular season, you know the rich got richer, especially with the trade deadline, but. I really don't think Philly could do it because if you watch their games, even that last game, they blew a 30-point lead, bro. Like, they can't close games, clearly. You know what I'm saying? That's some young shit. Like, that's some shit you can't do in the playoffs. And Ben Simmons, bro, come on, yo. I, I don't know the stats like that, but, like, yo, I, I don't even think he made a three, bro. I can't even imagine just, pop, like, pulling up for three. like, Bro, if I'm being honest, though, I personally think um, the Cavs might have just phoned it in at the end of the season. Even though LeBron played all 82 games for the first time in his career, which is a major thing to be like, what is it, 15 years yeah, in the league? Yeah, 15. He Jeez. played 82 games for the first time in his 15th season. That's big. But I think they phoned it in at the end of the year to kind of drop their position in the playoff bracket so they could have an easier route. Like I think the ideal matchup was to get either the Pacers or the Wizards in the first round, honestly. And and then towards the end, then we'll see Toronto or Philly, whoever whoever is gonna make it, we'll see them at the end. But let's get let's get the easiest route to the finals. You know what I mean? Low key, I me personally. I felt like LeBron has done that his whole career. <laughs> Where like, like towards the end of the season, he might pull back and and get a two seed instead of a one seed because he liked the matchup But I've been feeling like LeBron's done that every year. And when I was watching the standings, like the last couple weeks of the season, I was like, watch, watch Cleveland avoid like Milwaukee 
or a, a tough team like that that could be a tough out in the first round. I just knew they was gonna find a way to avoid them. They dropped themselves to the four seed, and then now they got Indiana. Not that Indiana, Indiana, if anything, they were surprising this year. I don't think anyone, I know I definitely did not have them making the playoffs. I thought they was about to uh, tank this year. Yeah. But they were surprising, but. On the depot. They don't got the, they don't got the strength. I think they, they coming out of Indiana. They coming out of there four and one. Like they, they might just lose one game, bro. And I think they play Boston. I think if Boston No, nah, no. Nah. If if Cleveland advances, they'll play Toronto or Washington. Whoever wins. Okay, so. Alright, so they got a little tough role with Toronto, but nothing that I don't think they can't handle. LeBron gonna will these players to, you know, to the finals, bro. And it's and y'all see all the nah, y'all see all the criticism on his career. It's finals a bust. So, you know, he he cared what people think, so he definitely making the finals. All right, here's the thing. Like, you can say, yeah, LeBron, it's, it's almost automatic that he goes to the finals. But I can't remember the last year where I was legitimately concerned that he might not make it. Yeah. Like, it's easy to put him there, but like this year I'm kind of feeling like he maybe he might not make it. Toronto's been really good. And yeah, they choked, that's the only thing, but if Philly advances to the Eastern Conference Finals or or Milwaukee makes it there, then I don't I don't think it's a for sure thing. Yeah. I mean, honestly, the one thing I can say, like for LeBron, whether whether he makes it to the championship game or the Eastern Conference Finals, we all know this is his last year in Cleveland. He's going to be a free agent. Contract-wise, you know, this is his last year. We don't know if he stays or not. But if he does leave and he doesn't make it to the finals or the championship this year, I know LeBron, regardless, win or lose, gives everything. Like, last year was the toughest finals, I think, ever for him. And this dude averaged like 40 points throughout the playoffs you know he really you can't say LeBron didn't he get his all he just didn't have the team around him and I feel like he consciously did that this year as well like 82 games for the first time in his career you know he's gonna go hard in the playoffs whether he wins or lose makes it and if he leaves Cleveland bro what what can you say like this man gave his all in his last year to try to win at least you know LeBron yeah he might slack to try to get a, a, a lower seed and a, a favorable matchup a but fact. he don't slack when it comes to winning in the playoffs and and really going hard for his team you know so just the I don't know man it is it's a tough it's a tough call in this playoffs LeBron make it to the finals bro I don't care what y'all saying man Philly Philly not doing it for me Milwaukee they gonna beat themselves in the head Toronto's gonna choke, Boston's hurt, and the other teams are sorry. Like, they saw it. <laughs> the only team I really saw that was gonna be a threat was Boston, but you know how that turned out with all these injuries. And uh, I'll be surprised, man. I'll be surprised if Philly somehow beats these guys. Like, I, I think Philly has a good chance making it to the finals, the conference finals against LeBron. But I'll be surprised if, if they definitely, if they pull out a seven game series, that's gonna say a lot for those young boys. I feel like I want Philly or someone to knock Braun off and that's why I'm, I'm in favor of them. But ultimately, when, once the playoffs start, I can't actually bet against LeBron. If there's money on it, like I'm not actually no, betting against LeBron. If anything, maybe Philly pushes them a couple games and then it impresses LeBron enough and he ends up in Philly next year. That's that's the only thing That'd I That'd be see. crazy. <laughs> and then Philly got a shot. But now with Philly be, being a three seed and 50 games, you know, winning 50 games this season, everyone was talking about LeBron's interest in Philly. I think Philly has done enough to sway LeBron to come. Like, they proven they could win without a player like LeBron. And Ben Simmons, like you said, is literally LeBron's son. But that's his like, son, this guy bro. plays his little man. like LeBron, except LeBron, I think, had a slight better shot at his age. Oh, that's a fact. But LeBron never was the best shooter, so I can't even shit on Simmons about that because this dude gets to the hole. He has great court vision. He makes plays happen. He's, and, and, and he's built like LeBron. It's crazy. 
and he cracked the code of like stat padding, bro. Like, yo, I, yo, I swear he, I, I'm not calling him a stat pad. I ain't gonna claim that, but like that just consistent triple double, like you know, he cracked that code. It's like you know, if he don't get it one night, he, he's definitely getting the next night, and you know, that's something I feel like only him, LeBron, and Westbrook was able to break so far. Like they, they getting these numbers every night. But Bron, for sure, he definitely go there. He, you know, that's that, that only makes sense because he's not going to the West because he can't make it to the finals in the West unless he goes to Golden State. <laughs> yeah, that'd be crazy. But in the East, he's he's making it to the finals every every year, probably until he's really washed. But Word. LeBron to the finals until he's dead ass bald for real. And what LeBron do when he gets to the finals? He put the team on his back and lose. <laughs> <laughs> we back at his bitch, no politics, sports. <laughs>